Getting ready for the London night jump here uh, over at Liquid Leisure and uh, one man who will be conspicuously absent from the list uh, this time around is none other than Canadian legend Mr. Jarrett Llewellyn. How are you doing this evening? Thanks Tony. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I Watching these guys you get a little excited about getting back out on the water. This must be absolutely killing you inside, isn't it? Killing me, Tony. Yeah, killing me. <laughs> yeah, killing you. Killing you. Not being able to go out there and basically lock horns with some of these guys, such as Freddy Krueger, who's just come off the water practicing. You've got Alvaro, you've got Guillermo, you've got Zach. I mean, I mean, really, I mean, what what must be going, going on down there right now? Oh, this is a great event. You know, just being back here, you know, every year I've come and... You know, Stuart's done an amazing job every year. It builds and uh, sponsors are happy, and this is really the, the future of uh, of jumping for our sport. As far as night night events, bringing some uh, people into the sport, getting a lot of hype. This is what it's all about. And these guys are all out here practicing tonight, having a little poke at it, and just having you know tomorrow they're going to be flying for the money, and we're going to be on the on the webcast. You and I ripping on them and, and getting the crowd fired up. Okay, so talking about you personally, I had a, spoke to you the uh, just after the Masters or at the Masters, and then spoke to you two weeks ago. Has there been any updates as to your condition, and uh, when's the earliest you could get get back out in the water and really start hitting the wedge again? Well, I've been been in Austria for a few months training the kids, and I've been mountain biking a lot, and uh, it's just it's coming along really well. I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm. Yeah, two months today, eight weeks today, and at three months when I get back to the States, the doctor wants to see my leg, and if everything's good and I got some size, maybe I can start skiing. I know that a lot of people thought that might be crazy, but that's just just riding my skis and just getting my twitch fibers going. And really, I got till the another three months of uh, hard hard time in the gym and, and getting some size. And but really, the season's basically finished for me, and I'm I'm trying to get ready for Mumba for next year and the World Champions and championships that will be in Russia so uh, if, if anything I, this was a year off for me and I hopefully I come back stronger and better next year and also your son as well who uh, sustained an injury last week on Wednesday he broke his femur uh, trick skiing whilst la landing a flip twist uh, tell me how how that came about what his condition and what's the prognosis for his future participation well, a lot of people was at the Junior Worlds, and everyone was like, "Why isn't Dorian here?" Why? And um, Dorian just was totally focused on on keeping his speeds down at 34. He wants to uh, push the record up as high as he can. He wanted to focus on the Junior Europeans, which is in Austria, which is Britta's hometown. And he's uh, dialed in. And we came back after the Junior Worlds. He was out just we're just tweaking little runs, and he's uh, doing the flip back to front. And when he was upside down, his heel strap popped off his back foot. And so both feet were off the ski, or one ski, his back foot was off the ski, and as he came down and landed, he landed on the down slope of the wake, and his, his front foot that was still in the ski twisted and torqued and broke his, uh, his femur. And uh, it was absolutely horrendous for me, uh, nothing that I would ever want, you know, to go through, you know, for a parent, it's unbelievable. And, uh, but what's amazing is he did it at one o'clock, by five o'clock he had an operation to put the pin in, and by 10 o'clock the next morning he was walking. So um, he's going to miss the tournament, which is really hard. It's uh, You watch the kids train as hard as they do, and then when you uh, all of a sudden get the rug pull out from underneath you, it's, it's hard. And it's he's going to be at the tournament watching, and it'll be hard for him. But he's already, he's got a pretty good attitude. He's already pumped. He says, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to train as hard as I can this winter, and I'm going to be ready for next year. So he's taking it really well, and um, it'll be two months uh, hard getting back into it. Jarrett Llewellyn, one of the world's top athletes, and uh, we hope to see him and indeed his son Dorian next year. Make sure you check us out on the webcast. Check in because the sport is uh, this is where it's at.